problem 13 of ABC be a scaling triangle, meaning that, you know, all angles are distinct. <coughs> Point P lies on BC so that AP bisects BAC, the line through B perpendicular to AP intersects the line through A parallel to BC at point D. Suppose BP is 2, BC is 3. What is AD? So I just drew the shape by going along, right? I first drew ABC, then I, and then I made P line on BC. So I went step by step to draw the shape. After I do this, I want to put special angles. So let's do that. This and this are bisecting. So therefore, we have the bisect theorem, right? Because that's you should, you should always try to relate given information to information you already know. And one thing about the bisect theorem is that if this is A to B, then this side length and this side length to the ratio would also be A to B. So with this understanding, this would be 2x, this would be 2x. The problem is this entire side is 3x. Therefore, this little side must be x. Now, how did I know this? Well, first of all, this, right, is a bisecting um, line. So these two angles are the same. At the same time, AP is a perpendicular line. So we have angle side angle. So we have angle side angle congruency. Therefore, the two triangles congruent. Therefore, this is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, 2x here must go all the way here as well. But from the angle bisecting theorem, we know that this must be 3 in order for the 2 to 3 ratio to be um, present. So this is x. Now, we're trying to find for AD, and there should be a very distinct similar triangle that you can see right now, which is opposite angle, right? But this is parallel to this line, so we have this angle to be equal to this angle. We have angle-angle similarity for triangle, if I call this to be point E. We have angle-angle similarity for ADE to CEB. Now, with this understanding, that must mean that there must be a ratio in terms of the side lengths. So x to 2x is 1 to 2. Therefore, BC to AD must also be 1 to 2. But we know what BC is. BC is 2 plus 3, which is 5. So therefore, we can solve for AD. AD would just be equal to 2 times 5, which gives you 10. Therefore, your answer choice would be answer choice C.